Hello everyone. Now I'm gonna teach you. Uh, uh, what is wrong with you? I told you to wait some time before pulling up the trigger. Let me tell him. So today we will learn about this ghastly bullet hit that suddenly trigs off and I need to give some punch. <laughs> Let's see the tutorial. <laughs> So here we are in Adobe After Effects, so you know it's very annoying that beastly old bitch tried to shoot me two times and I don't like it. And I did some impromptu, so import first of all your that impromptu action file that is totally looking disgusting without a hit. So drag it to the tram line and here we are. So first of all, think this is your personal video and now first go to the place where the bullet hit will take the place. First it took place at this point when I little shook a bit. See this frame keys too. Here. Okay, as for the bullet sound, you can give it later in the Windows Live Movie Maker and there's a tutorial and I encourage you to see it in my channel. But as for now, I'll give only the splatter and the burst effect of the blood. So import that file. I always recommend you use Action Essentials 2 from Video Copilot site. And it's not free, you have to get paid for it. So I'm just so download link in the description and select Blood Burst 12 because that is very good for this one. Drag it and drop it over the video. Now we have it. Right click blending mode to screen. Now you can see the blood a little bit annoying mode because it's not glowing. We need some glow, but first things first. So first we'll go to the position where I'm being hit and position the blood splatter right there. This point. Now we'll add some glow effect and enlarge it. So type here glow and drag it and drop it over the blood. Now these are all your opinion how much the glow should be. For example, to make it a little bit visible, I'm giving this much. It's totally your opinion. It looks a bit fine, I know. Here. So let's take a look. Yeah, it's totally great. Now you can notice that after falling off, there's some blood here on the curtains. There's some blood, yeah. So it's another overlay. So go to the strict position where you are dropping here. And here you'll give the blood. And now I have a great tip for you. This blood overlay, this one, you can make it at home. That means it's a homemade. Just go to the paint application. For example, let me show you. This is the blood effect. That is the blood hit effect. I made this effect at home. That means grab the paint application, draw this black box and with the paint brush, just draw this blood. So now we'll open it with this after effects so and drag it and drop it over here so now we have the blood effect let's get the blending mode to screen 
and i think you don't need to adjust the glow effects in this preview because it's nice to you no position it now i'm dropping and there's a blood splatter but as for your camera is moving there will be other things and that's in my channel video that will be released a week later as for this video my camera is not moving because it's on a tripod yeah so now you have to think about one thing you got up so now this must not be visible so trim it yeah now let's see our video whoa good at nice so thanks everyone please leave a comment or a like below if you are indeed helped and if you have any inquiries about computers and apps leave it in a comment below and please please don't hesitate to give any comments or inquiries like so thanks everyone That's a really nice blood splatter.